What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing good. It's a beautiful day. I'm glad and very happy to be here with you again today to exchange uh, some very interesting stuff. You know what to do. Please give it a thumbs up. Get this video pushed forward to as many people as possible. And also, if you're not part of the crew and you would like to join us, we'd love to have you. Please join the crew. Please come and be part of us so we can have a much bigger society and clan together so we can grow ourselves. So today, we're going to talk about the Dutch, the Dutch king. Very interesting figure. The Dutch king came forward with very interesting sermon. He said he was sorry. Sorry for slavery. Yay! Very applaudable, very interesting thing to see. He came forward and expressed himself, said, we are sorry for all the bad things we've done to the world. We are sorry for all the negative things we've done. You know, uh, Dutch colonies back at the time were ruled by the Dutch people. The Dutch people have done lots of, lots of damage all across the world. Let's watch. Wij dragen de gruwelijkheid van het slavernijverleden met ons mee. We carry with us the horrors of slavery in the past. The consequences of this can still be felt today in racism in our society. On December the 19th last year, the Prime Minister apologised on behalf of the Dutch government for the fact that people in the name of the Dutch state were made into commodities, exploited and mistreated for centuries. Today I stand here before you as your king, as part of the government, and today I make these apologies myself. So as you can see, it's very interesting to see them recognize this thing and say they're sorry. Very much better than seeing the way most people react in this situation, you know, pretending not to have any issues, pretending to be okay. I'm very, very glad to see that. Uh, we are sorry. Okay, I know sorry is not enough, but it's a good start. But I just need to remind us, as much as they are sorry, you know, back in time, many people were taken into slavery. Many people were forced out of Africa to other places, out of Africa to the Caribbean. Plenty of Caribbeans, brothers and sisters watching us here. We salute you. We love you. We want to stay in touch with you. Don't listen to the naysayers. We have no problem with you. We truly, really want to have connection with you. If you have something, if you have means, please come to Africa. Come see Africa for yourself. We're very different than what people pretend us to be. Truly, really. You cannot judge a whole community based on information you got from one person or two or three or four or ten no people are very different yeah good people bad people everywhere all over the world you know in spite of countries and everywhere you're gonna find good people and bad people just matters on who you met we love you we know a lot of our brothers and sisters are all across the world because the ancestors were taken into slavery. And that's very, very sad to see. But the good thing is they have emerged stronger, you know, much better people in the world. You know, it's just amazing to see that. So I need y'all to know that for some of you who don't know, when slavery ended, the slave masters were paid for loss of good. Yes. So people who owned slaves were paid by government for losing their slaves. So somebody comes forward and says, oh, you know what, guys, within 10 years, we need to stop slavery because uh, apparently it's not good. Okay, so do you have slaves? Okay, you come forward, we're going to pay you money so you can release your slaves. They didn't pay the slaves. No slave would receive a compensation or some sort of, you know, payment to make things slightly better, you know, even though things were very atrociously difficult for them. But the slave master got the money. Slave masters got paid. Let me tell you what. In Britain, only three years ago, they fully paid the money the government owned the slave masters. Can you believe that? Three years ago, Great Britain was still paying the money to the slave masters for losing slaves. Yes. James Blair, a Scottish-Irish MP, owned 1,598 slaves in British Guyana. When slavery was abolished in 1833, he was awarded £83,350 in compensation, a sum worth £65 million today. In total, the British government paid out today's equivalent of 16.5 billion to compensate some 3,000 families that own slaves for the loss of their so-called property and investment. It represented at the time 40% of the Treasury's annual spending budget. The sum was so large that it took British ta taxpayers 182 years to pay off. Taxpayers like the children of Windrush, who were invited to Britain from Commonwealth countries in 1948. The children of the very slaves that James Blair owned. The children of people who had their British identity 
thrust upon them centuries ago when they were stolen from their homes and sold as property. The amount took a couple of billion dollars, you know, uh, worth of, uh, you know, money today. So these people got paid for doing what they did. So they profit from the slaves. They made money out of the slave. They made riches. They got, you know, logical and financial advantages over the slave. At the end, they got paid for losing the slave. In the meantime, slaves got what? Nothing. Let me just remind you, fellas, we are the only community who have, after, you know, being through difficulties and hardship that do not get compensated. If we get any compensation, it's we sorry. Oh, sorry for that. The past is not the past uh, because we know that when slavery was abolished, the, the slave owners were, they were paid compensation. That is a form of reparation. And it's those same families uh, who had the wealth who have been able to build the country, but also we know that the institutions that came with slavery, it still lives on. It still lives on in the discrimination of people of African descent. Not really taking accountability, not even taking accountability of things that were done to us. They'll say, you know what? Sorry about that. And the harder one will say to you, you know what? Get over yourself. That's a long, long time ago. You were slaves. Oh, that's bad. But that's long. That's before you were born, right? You remember colonization? Oh, but come on. Even your grandfather was not existent at the time. Yeah, that's what they say to you. They want you to get over it. Okay, you get over it. But in the same instances, many other nations out here, I'm not going to name because we, they're going to censor us. You don't talk about these people. You know them. They suffered in Germany. They did suffer. Uh, after all that suffering, Germany had to pay a lot of money as compensation to say we are sorry. We are sorry, but here are the fund. We are sorry, but here is the money. Yes, that's how you say sorry. Of course, the money is not going to replace the lives that were taken. Absolutely not. But that shows how genuine you are, how much you recognize the wrong things that you've done. Now, with these people, every year they have celebration, some sort of a event where they can, uh, you know, go through the things that they had gone through, uh, you know, think about it and celebrate it. The whole world respects those events. But when it comes to you claiming what you need to claim, they ask you to get over it. Get over yourself. You know, that's gone a long time ago. We, well, we're sorry that happened. We're sorry slavery happened. But you know what? It's 2023. We need to move forward. The people of America, the natives, went through very difficult time too. After the Europeans came to the United States, first bringing disease and eradicating most of them, most of them passed because of the disease that Europeans brought to the U.S., and then they tried to take them into slavery by force. And many of them, unfortunately, were not strong like that physically. And many of them, yeah. And then because they couldn't continue, it was a very sad situation. There were so many of them, but many of them because of the diseases. When it came time, they said they were sorry. They're benefiting from some form of compensation from saying sorry. So it's not just sorry. It's sorry, but here is a box for you. We appreciate the, you know, the king of the Dutch saying sorry. Because right after the king of the Dutch, the prime minister of the Dutch also say they were sorry. That is good. Let's watch that. Today, I ask the Netherlands government excuses for the handling of the Nederlandse state in the past. In het verleden. Postuum aan alle tot slaaf gemaakten die wereldwijd onder dat handelen hebben geleden. Aan hun dochters en zonen en aan al hun nazaten tot in het hier en nu. Dus laat ons dat gesprek over het slavernijverleden alsjeblieft voeren. Ook als dat een moeilijk gesprek is. Erkenning van het afschuwelijke leed dat generaties tot slaaf gemaakten is aangedaan. Erkenning van en eerherstel voor al die mensen die in het verzet kwamen. En natuurlijk erkenning van historische verantwoordelijkheid. Met de woorden die daarbij horen. Deze woorden. That is good. However, we need to see finances. We need to say we are sorry. Here it is. Because we are sorry. This is for you. We are sorry. We are the things you've stolen from us. They've stolen many things out of Africa. Many goods, many traditional stuff, many masks, many minerals. Why don't they bring it back so we can believe they're honest? The king of Belgium came to the Congo, now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo. It was his private property. The man did atrocious things to locals. Unbelievable. Because he needed rubber. And at the time, rubber was necessary for the creation of tires for cars. You see, back in time, rubbers were very necessary for the creation of tires. And there was a huge boom about cars, new cars, cars in the market. The cars run with tires. And the tires or the rubbers were in the Democratic Republic of Congo. At the time, it was called Congo. It was the private property of the King of Belgium. It is horrendous thing to the local. Unbelievable situation. Half of the population was gone. 
because they could not bring the amount of rubber he wanted them to do. Nobody said sorry. At least those dry and, you know, unhealthy sorry. We sorry. We sorry where's the money? We sorry where's the funds, the resources? We sorry what's the benefit? Sorry is not enough. I'm sorry. Sorry, it's not. we appreciate you trying to come forward and try to make things right. Uh, it's a good step, but that's not enough. Because you have the means, you can do something about it. If they can send a lot of money into financing wars and stuff like that, why don't they finance sorries? That's my big question. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Let me know how you feel about this. Please drop a comment. Don't just go. We want you to be part of this movement, part of this great family. Uh, my name is Zach Moikasa. As you know, we want to read from you, learn from you, and get a sense of familyhood. God bless.